crews have been working overnight to restore power after yesterday's storms. At last check, Dominion Energy reports more than 17,000 people without power in Northern Virginia. The strongest storms moved through Loudoun and Fauquier counties Wednesday afternoon. The town of Warrington was hit especially hard. News Force Megan McGrath is live there now with a closer look at the damage. Megan, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, Warrington really got hit hard by the storm last night. National Weather Service saying some areas got uh, winds of a 80 miles an hour, if you can imagine that, and that caused a lot of damage, a lot of trees down in this part of town. So we are here in the front yard of the Bailey family's home, and they are considering themselves to be very lucky this morning because take a look at this big tree snapped in the middle, but it came crashing down in the front yard, kind of sideways in the front yard, and fortunately, it left the main part of the house unscathed that didn't hit that part of the house. So uh, they just did some renovation work, so they're very happy about that. Now, they did have some damage over here on the, the side of the, the house here. You can see the tree that fell there and kind of hit this room off to the side. But most of the damage on the outside, and we spoke to the Baileys, they're just really happy that nobody got hurt. Place can be repaired, yeah. but the most important part is my boo. <laughs> my boo is safe <laughs> and sound. It, yeah. I can still snuggle with her tonight. It doesn't really matter what this house. <laughs> So a lot of cleanup needs to be done. You know, big trees. We're talking a lot of big trees. I just took a little drive in the neighborhood, and uh, there are a lot of trees down. In fact, look at what's going by right now. We've got a, a tree removal service. You're going to be busy today. <laughs> <laughs> Lots to do today, but you know, the good news here, guys, is that while there was a lot of property damage in some neighborhoods, no reports of any injuries. Back to you. Yes, that is yeah. the upside to all of this. And Next why didn't they stop in front of their house? <laughs> Get rid of that tree. <laughs> they will be busy this morning for sure. Megan McGrath and Warrington, thank you, Megan. And one Warrington woman was trapped in her home when a tree fell on her front porch and left live wires in her yard. Amber Wilson spoke with News 4's Jim Hanley about the terrifying ordeal live on News 4 6. I was sitting in my living room watching TV with my, you know, good old trusty dog, and I heard a big old snap, and it sounded, I'm not sure if it was a live wire or if it was maybe lightning or just a tree snapping. But for two, it was a like slow motion. The tree fell over, and I remember, remember hitting, or hit, remember saying, please don't hit my house, like thinking yeah. to myself. And mm. then two seconds later, the whole house shook, and it completely took out the entire, the entire front of my house. Wow. Uh, it's a good thing she's safe. Stay on top of severe weather all summer long. Download the NBC Washington app now. It will send alerts to your phone before weather strikes. You'll also get 24-7 access to Storm Team 4 radar and the 10-day forecast. On top of the situation in Warrington this morning, as that uh, recovery effort uh, unfolds this morning, one of the areas hardest hit by straight-line winds during yesterday afternoon's uh, storms. Yeah, town manager Brandy Schaefer joins us on the phone right now. Now, Brandy, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. We've been seeing the video this morning, the trees down and the roadways in front of homes and on uh, streets. What's the biggest priority this morning in terms of your cleanup? Yeah, good morning. I think this morning we are um, still have several roads that are closed and um, still focusing on the down lines and coordinating with Dominion. But we did start to see some progress this morning with power being restored and starting to open up some of our key roads. But um, the damage to today is kind of um, going to take us days to clean up. So we are, you know, our, our circuit courts are closed and the town government is going to close to the public to the day so we can focus on the cleanup. So the, the priority is really just um, getting some of these main roads open up and making sure all of the power lines that were down are fully secured. Uh, uh, tell us about the extent of, of what you have uh, to undertake today. In our last hour, we saw a tree removal truck going down the street, you know, because they will be busy. Uh, can you give uh, residents an idea of what they will see today, what's going to happen today as you try to get that power restored? Yes. Um, you know, I was talking to our deputy chief uh, last night, and he grew up here and is a 20-year veteran, and he said he's never seen such extensive damage that's um, been townwide like this. So it is going to be a more um, 
extensive cleanups than I think we're used to. It's going to take more time. So I hope the patients can, you know, the residents can be patient with us as we're working through it. Um, we're, our crews work throughout the night and we'll be back again today at it. Um, but it's, it's going to be a couple of days until I think we're back to normal. All right. Town manager for Warrington, Brandy Schaefer. Thanks for joining us this morning. And as she mentioned, a big cleanup yeah. process. Residents need to be patient with yeah. all the work that's going to happen today. Well,